broadcasting live from Ethan Temple Seventh Day Adventist Church in Panama City, Florida. It's the Adventist World Mission News, taking the gospel into all the world, with your host Angie Morgan and Octavia Jackson. She was only three years old and moved to Credence, Algeria. Karina's father is from Germany. Her mother is from India. Her parents met in India when her father was working there. Then they came to Germany, where they both are teaching the Seventh-day Adventist seminary, seminary in Credence, South. That is how Karina happens to have two homes. Hi, have you ever lived in another city or country? Yes, I have. Where? Germany. Well, how did it feel when you had to leave your old friends behind? Well, I, I felt like I had been leaving my old friends behind all my life. Oh, okay. Uh, I was a travel, I was a Navy, and I, I left the country shortly after I got home. Oh. Out, of, out of service. Okay. After World War II. This ain't a woman doing it. Too late now. Okay. Have you ever lived in another city or country? I felt very sad because I had to leave them, knowing that I may never see them again. And I cried. And it made me feel very sad. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Do you live in another state or country? Yes, I've lived in many states, and I've lived in uh, Germany and Puerto Rico. Um, how did you feel when you like, had to leave your old friends? They're a nostalgic type feeling. I uh, established a close relationship with the friends and the that I was living around. Um, uh, had um, lots of fun. We did activities. We camped together. We went to church together. We had uh, we did boats march. All of this happened in Germany. We went on trips all over Europe. And it was just. Uh, a really sad time when, when we had to leave. However, I was happy to get back to the United States. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Have you ever lived in another city or country? <laughs> Where? Uh, Charleston, South Carolina. Well, this is like leave your old friends behind. <laughs> Some of them I'm glad to leave. <laughs> some of them I kind of, I hated that. You know, I left some of them, though. You know, I still think about some of my friends that I left. And some of them I'm glad that I left, left anyway. You know? <laughs> Thank you. All right. You ever live in another city or country? Yes, I have. Where? New Orleans, Louisiana, Tupelo, Mississippi, Alabama, um, New Mexico. What it was like to leave all your friends behind? What it was like to leave all my friends? Well, uh, bottom line uh, was made up when I left. I left and uh, uh, I was glad. Glad that I left it. My friends did not bother me. I met new friends. Uh, okay, thank you. On this long journey by airplane from India to Germany, Karina became very tired sitting for so long. First, she played with her toys, and then she went to sleep. Germany, Germany and India are very different. And now we'll have Pierre and JJ to bring us our weather report for India and Germany. <laughs> I'm Pierre. And I'm JJ. For India and Germany's weather and geographical report. India is near the equator. So it is hot most of the time. Germany is far from the equator, so it is sometimes very cold. Germany, in Germany, Korea sometimes has to wear a heavy coat, boots, hat.
hats and mittens. And in there she could wear light cotton clothes all year. She could go swimming and run barefooted all year. She could not do that in Germany. In India, people speak Hindi, English, and many other languages. In Germany, nearly everyone speaks German. But they spoke Hindi and English and, and India. When she moved in Germany, she had to learn how to speak German so she could talk to her friends. It took her six months to learn German. Now Karina can speak three languages. India, people eat lots of rice with spicy vegetable curry. In Germany, people eat bread, potatoes, and noodles. Karina loves spaghetti with tomato sauce. This has been Pierre and JJ of India and Germany's weather uh, and geographical report. And back to you, Angie and Octavia. <laughs> Thank you, Pierre and JJ. Now we'll turn over to our rumor reporter, Danielle Morgan, who is on the scene. Danielle? When I grow up, I will be an airplane flight pilot. That way, my family and I can fly anywhere for free. Then we can go to India to visit my friends. Even though Karina misses her friends in India, she also has lots of new friends in Germany. She is in the first grade and has a wonderful time at recess playing with them. She rides a school bus every day and enjoys riding with her friends. At home, Karina plays with her little brother and her stuffed animals. She also loves to ride her bike. It seems that everyone in Germany rides bikes, so she often has friends to ride with. They have a happy time together. It feels good when the wind blows through her hair as they coast down a hill. Karina also loves to draw and paint pictures. Sometimes she uses paints or felt markers. She also loves drawing with colored pencils. Karina is a happy, fun-loving little girl with two homes, one in Germany and one in India. I think it would be fun to have her for a friend, don't you? This is Donnell Morgan reporting live from Germany. Thank you, Donnell. This has been Angela Morgan and Octavia Jackson reporting for Adventist World Mission News. See you next time.